Okay, well, I'm, I uh, have been having trouble getting all of these um, bolts underneath to line up. And so I've had to basically jack up the uh, car and sh shift the body back and forth, left and right, just to get everything, you know, loosen up all of these bolts. And that's been a huge pain. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I've painted these two things. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put those in just because I need something that feels like I've actually accomplished something. Um, <clears throat> so what I've got are the two screens. Let's see, Let's set this up here. I've got two screens and I've got these two guys and I'm just going to see if I can get them in place. So, you can see this is what it looks like on the front. You can do this one as well. Um, this one will, will eventually get the fuel gauge, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna have to pull this all back out in order to put the fuel gauge in, but I'll just go ahead and what it looks like on the front so on the back I'm going to just see if I can get the tabs uh, bent See how that looks on the front. It's probably off. Yeah, it looks like it shifted down a little bit. That's better. Let's just see if I have to adjust these. pretty good. Let's try the one for the uh Okay. So, let's just look on the front. Okay, that looks pretty good. I mean, there's some imperfections here that I'll probably will to do a little mini wet sanding of, of that, but you know, I have to get the gas gauge in, speaker behind that. I have this little trim piece here that I can put in. So that's good, at least I've made some progress on that. I have to uh, um, work on the this whole bolt situation. Um, I have, I'm having problems with the um, body bolts lining up and I have now, um, well, I decided to use these lock washers as well. So I put on the lock washer and this body hole here. Not sure that lines up anymore. So um, you know, probably will have to do a little bit of finagling to see if I can get that to go in. You know, I can see where this hole actually is. Hole is there. I may have to dremel the outside right of this because I had to move the uh, body a little bit in order to the body just a little bit in order to fit that could be in there but
All right, there's that one. Now let's look at this one. pretty good there so let's see if this goes in now with lock now with the uh, lock washer start with the washers up a little higher so that because they sit on the seam sealer okay this is in so I'm just gonna loosely fit every single bolt this is what I've learned you need some jiggly jiggle ability now I have no idea on these here where they are so I actually need to chop out the uh, chop out the rubber on those Honestly, if I can get every single body hole or body bolt in with it threaded in, I will, that will be a good day. See, look where that hole is. That hole is way the hell down there. There's just no way I will ever get that in there. So, you know, look where that is. I'm gonna Dremel. Let's see where this one is. doesn't really line up that well and but the body is where it's gonna be so it just means I am going to Dremel these to be where they need to be this one actually looks pretty good amazingly out and if I don't see a hole then I know I'm in big trouble but all of these are gonna need a little work with the Dremel just to get this top metal
That is how it will go. And then I'll put the flat, flatter side to the outside. And thread this in. So, that's 104. So as I said, I'm gonna just loosely, I got that, those, those loosely in there. Look at that, look at where that is. How annoying is that? I'm literally gonna, I'll be surprised if I can. Oh man, well. I will turn this. Turn this camera back on once I'm done. Okay, under the deck lid now. The, the latch works great. Words, there it is, right there, moving and down the channel. And I did this um, seal here, goes in there, and around all the way down, and comes up here. This was the weird spot here, but you know, it worked out okay. There's still a little WD-40 on there, and then it uh, ends here where I cut it, right at the end of the channel. So here the water has to come out, it has to be able to drain down here, so you know, you don't want this thing to come up too much further than where it attaches there. This one here, it just doesn't quite go all the way in, but I don't, I'm not gonna care about that, because once you close it, you can't see anything anyway. Um, here, what I have, so I have um, this area here, and I have all of these um, pointy things. So the pointy things are, you know, before they held insulation. So what I have is I have this uh, sound, so I'm gonna pull all these pointy things so that they point straight out so I can pierce through the new sound insulation that I'm going to put there. So these things got to come straight out. Not exactly sure what this thing holds, probably a wire. But uh, I'll make this come through it and that way. That also comes straight out. All of these pointy things just need to Went straight out so that they actually pierce through the um, I have an adhesive sound insulation that I'm going to use over top of this. I used it on the bus and it seemed to work pretty well. And then here that'll just come through. insulation I'm using. Let's see, I guess there's more here. So I'll show you the insulation that I'm using. Okay, so I have each of these pointy things all sticking straight out. And uh, what I'm going to do then, I'm not exactly sure this is a kind of a cable holder here. I got to figure out exactly what's what's coming through. I mean, you have fuel coming through. You have well, yeah, you got the stuff that's just coming through the firewall. But um, and also this has to. I'm gonna have to deal with this when I put this uh, seal on to bend this back up so that it'll actually uh, grip it. But um, this is what I'm gonna put in there. So this is like an adhesive, heat resistant um, foam with a heat on um, heat resistant part on the top. So this is gonna go. I need to figure out exactly the the right size cut. You know, maybe the best way is to do that with some poster board or something. And uh, that's what I did with the uh, with the bus. And then I'll just get that insulation here everywhere and just make sure that I trim the holes where everything has to come through. Um, so that's some kind of plastic grommet. 
I don't know what was here. You know, somewhere I've got to figure out, I mean, I have to put a number of different things. I have to put my full flow oil, mount that oil uh, filter somewhere. I have to, um, you know, I have a electric fuel pump and I guess that might go under the front. Um, on the bus, I have a solenoid that is under the fuel tank so that there's not just constant gravitational pressure onto the carb, uh, onto the carbs as far as gas coming back in. So, um, that's that. Also, it looks like there's uh, clamps here for for some kind of a, what I've seen is uh, people also putting kind of an insulation underneath this and then clamping it down. So, I might as well bend these up and then you'll see I'll probably put something underneath it. There's all kinds of dirt and stuff that I didn't actually get up. All right, well, that's the progress. I'm, I need to go on a little shopping trip to get some bolts, uh, another bolt kit for underneath and uh, more fender bolts. So I'm gonna see if they have it at my local place.